one, two, one, two.
eternal rest, O Lord. May your heavenly light shine upon him forever, and may he rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. To all welcome to St. Saviour Church on this sad morning for the funeral mass of Andrew. We pray for him, that God will give him a place of peace and rest in the kingdom of heaven. Remember his family members who are left behind at this sad time. We offer our sympathy to his brother James, sisters Tina, Susan, Caroline, Diana, Linda, Shirley, Sabrina, Danielle, Anne-Marie, Bernadette, Helen, Gertrude, Claudine, sons Andrew, Sean, Noah, daughters Mia and Piper, brother-in-laws, aunts, uncles. Extended family, neighbours and friends, be assured of our prayers at this sad time. We have three symbols we bring to the altar representing Andrew's life. Mia would bring a St. Saviour's jersey. Piper would bring a football. Andrew would bring a family picture. And we'll just place them on the table before the water. So we say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, holy angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord, you came to show us the way to the Father. Lord have mercy. You bring life to those who are in darkness. Christ have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our faith professes that your Son Jesus died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery your faithful servant who has fallen asleep, may rejoice to rise with him on the last day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We just sit now and listen to our first reading, read by Oshie. I, John, heard the voice from heaven say to, say to me, write, the, write down, happy are those who die in the, the Lord. <laughs> happy indeed, the Spirit said, now they can rest forever after, after their works, since they're going to go with them, the word of the Lord.
Kid will do our second reading. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. We believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, have been raised from the dead will never die again. There has no power over him anymore. The word of the Lord. I shall return and take you with me, so that where I am, you will be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. We just sit for a few moments. We gather together on this sad morning for the funeral mass of Andrew. We pray for him, that God will give him a place of peace and happiness in the kingdom of heaven. Remember his family and loved ones who were left behind at this sad time. Brother James, sisters Tina, Susan, Caroline, Diana, Linda, Shirley, Sabrina, Danielle, Anne-Marie, Bernadette, Ellen, girlfriend Claudine, sons Andrew, Sean, Noah, daughters Mia and Piper, and all who loved Andrew in, in life. We also remember his deceased parents, Tommy and Nellie, his deceased brothers, Junior, Thomas and William. As we gather together on this sad morning, we just listened to the Gospel of St. John, where he offers each one of us some words of comfort and reassurance at the death of a loved one. He said there's a place in heaven prepared for each one of us. So behind the sadness and death is the promise of life in God's kingdom. As we gather together this morning, I know many hearts are broken, many tears will fall, as they, his family and loved ones, grief for Andrew. But our faith gives us hope that beyond the sadness in this life, his promise is the promise of life eternal in God's kingdom. His family just wrote down a few little small words last night describing Andrew, a good family man. His mother was his life. He loved sport, won our Ireland boxing tournaments. He was his mother's blue old boy and his daddy's fair haired boy. Only a few weeks ago, one Sunday morning at quarter to 11, Andrew strode across from the shop he headed to the church and he walked up to the top of the church. He had a chat with the choir and a chat with Barry. Then he went down and he sat down on the third seat where he sat down and said his prayers. He prayed to God. He prayed that God would look after him, give him whatever resources he needed in life. And on the way out the front door, who was just standing outside, he passed out shook hands and said, look, he said, I'll see you in a few weeks' time. Little did we know that in a few weeks' time we'd be receiving his remains into the church. But on that day he said his prayers and he asked God to look after him and he said he was going to do his best. And that's what any of us can do, do our best. So as we gather together this morning, I know his family and friends would have very happy memories of time spent with Andrew, sad days spent together. But our faith is in God and he gives us a message of hope that beyond this life is life in the, in the kingdom of heaven. So we pray for Andrew that he is enjoying the peace and the happiness of God's kingdom, united with his parents and deceased brothers, and that the Holy Spirit will comfort his family and loved ones at this sad time. May he rest in peace. Amen. I just ask the members of his family to come forward. As we read the prayers of the faithful, we have Rihanna, Podrick, Luke, Brendan, Molly and Adam. We pray for all those who mourn Andrew passing from this life, Andrew's wife, children, Andrew's own brother and sisters, the extended family. May their sadness and loss be lessened by the care of others 
Lord, hear us. Lord, precious, you hear us. We remember the smiles and laughter of those who have gone before us. We thank God for the happy memories they have left for us. May God one day unite us again. Lord, hear us. Lord, precious, you hear us. We pray and remember Andrew with great love and affection. May God receive Andrew with generosity, love, and reward of his faith for a life so well lived. May he continue to inspire us in the weeks and months ahead. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, you hear us. We pray that God may grant him eternal life to all those we loved in this life, but whom death has taken from us. Lord, graciously, uh, Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, you hear us. Our Blessed Lady to intercede for Andrew, and so we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers which we bring before you, both spoken and unspoken, and we make them through Christ our Lord. We have our offer few gifts been brought to the altar by Roy and Lexi. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We humbly present to you these offerings of bread and wine. We ask your mercy to be a loving Saviour. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hands. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <laughs> Heavenly Father, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. For through your Son Jesus, you made all things. You sent him as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of a blessed lady, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He opened his hands as he endured the passion, so as to break the bonds of death and show for us the mystery of the resurrection. And so, all the angels and the saints, we declare your glory as we say with one voice, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, and was on the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and was on the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit send upon these gifts, so that they will become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night we betrayed, he took bread, broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave it thanks and praise. 
gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant will be shed for you and for all, so our sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, as we celebrate the memorial of your son's life, death, and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life, the cup of eternal salvation, giving thanks to your fellow authority to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into the one Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring it together in the fullness of charity, together with the Pope, bishops, and the entire peoples, your son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of being raised to new life and all who are dwelling in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. We pray for Andrew, his deceased parents, Tommy and Nelly, as well as Junior, Thomas and William. Have mercy on us, Lord, we pray, to Mary, the mother of God, the apostles, the martyrs, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co heirs to eternal life as we praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus. <coughs> through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. We shall stand together. We pray in the words that you just gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grant us peace in our life, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, for you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper.
Let your heavenly light shine upon him forever. May he rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, your son Jesus gave us the sacrament of his body and blood as spiritual food for our journey through this life. Strengthened by it, may Andrew come to the table in heaven and Christ has prepared for him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Final prayers of farewell. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for God's faithful servants and now come to the last farewell. That a sad sin part of but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall joyfully greet him again and enjoy his friendship. This congregation will disperse in sorrow, but the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of the kingdom. Says, receive his soul, present him to God of Most High. Receive his soul, present him to God of Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul, present him to God of Most High. May Christ who calls you take you to himself, 
May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God and most high. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of your faithful servant. In your sight it is forever. In your goodness, give him a place of peace and rest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Just on behalf of the family now, Dan will say a few words. On behalf of Andrew's family. Andrew has been taken from this earth after 40 short years. It is too short a time, but they've been most precious. He truly was one of a kind, as he called himself the Drew Fitz of Ballybeg. The live wire fun spirit he has was so infectious and charmed everybody he met with that cheeky smile. He had a great love for sports, such a talented hurler, winning numerous trophies became a monster champion in boxing and loved a good game of soccer. Coaching the St. Saviour's Football Club is something he took so much pride in and it gave him a sense of fulfilment, being able to give back to the community he was so proud to be from. He loved to make people laugh and have a good slag. I'm sure there are numerous people here today that have, been, have their own memories of him that bring a smile to their face. He was always up for the buzz. Alcohol never really fazed him. On one occasion, he discovered pink gin. He said it was like water. Ten minutes later, there were three loud bangs and his son Andrew found them in the bat. His daughter Mia had a large Snapchat following, all dedicated fans of Andrew's, who watched him twerk and do the wop on the daily. Piper's going to miss her 20 euro weekly pocket money, AKA, her blue fiver. Noah is his pride and joy. He will always be told how much his daddy loves him. He will be missed dearly by Sean also. Andrew never drifted too far from Ballybeg. So much so, it's where he met the love of his life. Young Commons, come in here, I want you for a minute. Five children and 20 years later, the love never stopped and never will. It was love at first sight. Adored by his brother James, 11 sisters, no matter where he was, he would always lend a listening ear to those who needed it and help in any way he could. From singing bad karaoke with the Limerick boys on the daily to running around wearing his Michael Myers mask, from kayaking with Biddy into Bernadette's house saying, ah lads, you'll be dying to drought in this place. <laughs> from thinking he was free willy in the sea shouting, freedom! to sitting on the ground rocking the boat in the back garden. From being on scramblers in the mud hills with his partner in crime, Shirley, to well picking cockles in the back strand with Caroline. From telling the kids to keep Amory occupied whilst he crawled under the windowsill to sneak outside, to Boris' house drinking one can, necking off the bottle of Listerine, asking, is there a smell of drink off me? <laughs> From making Claudine coffee to tell her to chillax, to rising Bernadette's temper shouting, there's the Bull McCabe now. <laughs> Andrew was truly the apple of his mammy's eye. It was always about her blue eyed boy. He was all of her blue eyed boy. If love could have saved you, you would have lived forever. It's so hard to say goodbye to someone who had a big impact on our lives. But if we keep those good memories in our hearts and our minds, we will find comfort, Andrew, and you will always be with us. You're back with mommy, daddy, and the boys now. It's not goodbye, it's I'll see you later. In your very own words, I'm the real deal from Ballybeg. I'm made from good stock, the Halligans, AKA Drew Fitz. Rest in peace, Andrew, we love you forever.
Tommy, what, what do you think of that? Is it, does he mind the finish now? <sighs> He's finding it hard. Oh, gee, of course, yeah. He's hard. I had to be spared to take a few minutes off. This is not just to get used to it. Ah, yeah. look, he's here for the years. The house saying. goes with it. It's tough, huh? Oh, Tommy, he's leaving the house as well. Hmm? He's leaving the house as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to my house and dad. He's in a lovely house now. Oh, yeah, the flowers. OK. That's OK, Jimmy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. We read in sacred scripture, our true home is in heaven, and Jesus, who is the tomb we long for, only come from heaven to save us. Let us pray. O oh God, by his mercy, we fa the faithfully part of find rest, rest his grave, send your holy angel to watch over it, as you bury here the body of your faithful servant. Because God has chosen to call Andrew from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth. May the Lord bless him and keep him. May the Lord make his face shine upon him. Be gracious to him and give him everlasting peace and rest. May the prayers of Mary, Mother of God, who stood with a cross as someone was dying, accompany Andrew's family and friends in their time of need. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May your heavenly light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his souls and souls of all the faithfully parted, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. We say the first glorious mystery. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be our name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now on a child of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now on a child of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now on a child of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now and ever shall be, world of our end, amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercies, hail our life, our sweets, and our hope. Till we cry, poor banished children of Eve, till we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping, this valley of tears. Torn our most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, she went to us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O Clement, O loving us, we pray to Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his souls and souls of all the faithfully parted. To the mercy of God, rest in peace, amen. And just on behalf of the family, to our light refreshments in Paddy Brown's afterwards. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you.
because of all this Can you find a very special hand? And there is a holy thing And there is a precious time And it is the only way Forget me nuts among the snow It's always there and so it goes To ponder is dead and is life eternally One bright blue rose outlives all those Two thousand years and still it goes to ponder his death and his life eternally. Uh, Dick, and this feels a bit plastic to me in some way. I'm not sure. You know, buy yourself a good guitar.
raise me up to more than I can.